Today we're going to be taking pictures of new backgrounds for the Makala game app. Joining me today is Toxin from the Hero and Toxin channel. Hello. Let's get started. I usually do Minecraft. <laughs> So here's the walnut that I finished today with um, a Jacobean wax. And what I did is I cut the piece of wood into uh, six pieces. This is for continuity in the top and bottom. And then these individual blocks are going to be the buttons. And I've got them uh, numbered on the unfinished side so that the grains will all match. So uh, let's put that on some craft paper and see what it looks like. There I am grabbing craft paper, putting it on a table. And uh, we'll start taking pictures, sorting the wood. <laughs> My son's fancy camera work. It's pretty cool. Now here you see him uh, taking pictures, and we'll use GIMP to uh, take those images and turn them into a uh, picture is usable by the program. And let's and I did that already. So let's go take a look at the results. All right, here it is, and settings. Here's the craft paper in the background. Here's the piece of wood going up and down, and it should be the worst I'll have to deal with. Worst I'll ever have to deal with is a square screen. As you can see now, this is extending over the end. I got some problems with text and stuff. That has nothing to do with what today's projects. <clears throat> and so I put in a more 169-ish format, it still works. Um, rules, screen, sound. It's uh, it's all coming together. And I took some other some of the other photos of the walnut and in the, the, the flat spots I took photos and I'm using it as the background for some of the buttons. I'll probably still play around with that quite a bit. But uh, I think it looks really good and uh, son did a good job with helping out with the photography and uh, little cleanup bits like I want a bigger new game button especially when you're running it for the first time I almost want it to like dazzle or grab your attention because when you run this app for the very first time it's gonna take you straight into the um, AI selection screen and then you hit new game to actually start the game but by doing that it's gonna give the person the opportunity to see that oh I can also change rules which is the big thing because uh, people play by different rules for this game. Um, and of course you can change the look at the screen and this, uh, the, change the sound. And uh, it's going well and well. Uh, by the way, uh, on a side note, I've also been working on the AI a bit. I went back to the EA, Easy AI library that I'm using um, and I've written a non-recursive version of the AI, which is far faster. It's about 400% faster than, at least for this game, uh, than the recursive version. And uh, using that, um, the the hardest of these AI characters, ThoughtNet, uh, used to take about five minutes to make a turn uh, under certain circumstances on the right mobile devices. That's way too long. Now it takes about 50 seconds, which is better. It's still a long time to wait, so I'm going to try to tweak it even further. I'm still not sold that I'm going to have the hardest level on here because um, each phone's going to be different, and it's possible that some phones will never get through it. It's, I don't know. I'll keep tweaking it and see where we go, but we've made some pretty good improvements since the beginning. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.